You used to give your boyfriend sex in a car. You used to give your boyfriend sex in, in somewhere under the wall. Today you are married. Under the wall, I mean the foundation. That's what I'm trying to say. What are you talking about? All these things are happening in the church. There are women here who used to satisfy their boyfriend, but then they are penalizing their wives, their husbands. And I read somewhere that when you deny a man sex, you will reduce his age. Only a man can understand what it takes for the man to have the feeling for sex and his dinner. Insensitive man can push him into adultery. The only advantage the Christian ladies do that is that some of them know their husband will not go anywhere. But no, maybe to me I punish you. God Himself will step into the matter because you are taking advantage. Yeah? Don't take somebody's leniency to be his foolishness. It's not an easy thing. I did wait. A woman, I'm reading the Bible. Defraud ye not one another. He said, When you marry, your body is not for you by your husband. It, it means that the day you marry, you don't own your body again. Hey, today I went to work. I'm tired. Did I go to work? Somebody was pregnant and he said, The husband is disturbing him uh, her with sex. I said, You are the one that is pregnant. Is the man pregnant? There is no way the Bible says, When you are pregnant, you can't have sex. So the nine months you are pregnant, where should your husband go? I even learned from a gynecologist that the more you have sex in pregnancy, the easier you can deliver. Some of you ladies that you are not, you have never given birth, but you say yes. And uh, uh, no, no, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. there's a lady that says yes, yes, yes. And so who that? you go home you take care of the kids you are tired uh, and then he comes in the evening demanding for sex at least can't you say today that you are tired so we should reschedule it another time <laughs> the answer to the question is the way i'm going and i'm coming back i'm asking your question <laughs> for god you live in translation the husband should fulfill his wife's sexual needs and the wife should fulfill her husband's needs both of them sexual the wife gives authority over her body to her husband and the husband gives authority over his body to his wife and god knows that you have gone through stress <laughs> do not deprive each other of sexual relationship irrespective of the stress it is not there the stress is not there 